there's been moments, but it's always it always seemed like Carlton always came back to sitting on the couch with the football, thinking about what's next. How can I overcome something? Now, what we starting to see is him and Amir start to build their relationship. And some people were right. She might be alive for Carlton, especially right now, because we don't know what level Amira is at. We don't know if she's fully recovered. We know that Spencer called her out. We'll get into those details. We know that Will is putting a little bit of stresses on him because Will don't really know the business side and Will's more of a wild card. His parents, they're starting to trust him a little bit, but in the first quarter, they weren't really trusting him. They got the padlocks on there. He almost relapsed seeing liquor in his face. So it's just a lot of stuff going on. It's very, very stressful. I guess this is what they meant when they said more money, more problems. Because when I was in high school, I didn't have this much stress. The only stress I really had was, am I going to get caught for skipping school? Like on summer break, I always, there wasn't a summer I didn't have summer school. Yes, I was that guy. I had to go to summer school. I had to go to summer school. Most of the time, it wasn't even because I was failing. I just had to go to summer school because my parents wanted us to be doing something instead of sitting our ass at the house, eating up all the food, running the AC because we had the AC unit in the window. We didn't have central air in our first house. We only had one AC and it was in our dining room, but our dining room, we converted it to a blue room where you could sit around and lounge around. So we had to go to summer school every single year of my life. There's never been a summer. I never had summer school. I didn't have any stress. My only stress was making sure I caught the bus to get to summer school, because if I didn't, that means when my dad got home, he's going to put his foot in our ass. That was the only stress I had. I didn't have stress of going to school and getting the job done. I didn't like doing homework, but I got it done. I did enough to get my C's and get up out of there because C's get degrees. When you go to the doctor's office and you go in there and your doctor, you don't ever ask your doctor, hey, where did you place in your class? Where did you rank? Were you top 1%? No, they could have had all C's and graduated with a PhD and now they're your doctor. They're still a doctor. It's just the way it is. But Carlton, he has the most stress ever. Couldn't get into Princeton. They denied that. They said, no, nah, we don't want no drunkies here, even though there's a lot of drunks over at Spain. You know what I mean? There's a lot of drunks over spanking the booze. But now he got to get a job. Now they got to figure out how the hell are they going to sell 999 t-shirts because Will and them got the hookup at the end of episode three. But now we got to move these products in one week. Now him and Will, they got to devise a plan. And this plan is, it's risky, but it's worth it. Now I know I skipped over all episode four where they had a pitched idea. We just need to get past that. We already know what it is. We already know what it is. But we're going to jump back to the degrees of separation between him and Will because it's going to play a part in what we got going on, the disconnect while they're at the damn uh, country club. So they're sitting there like, man, what the hell can we do? How can we sell these shirts? And there's a guy named Pony, Pony Rich. I said, man, that's a unique name right there, Pony Rich. So they talking about, man, look, can you get us a hookup? Because if we get Pony Rich, you know what I'm saying? We get Pony Rich to, to rock our merch, and man, we're going to skyrocket. 64 million viewers, fans that are going to just eat up whatever he getting in. Now, if I'm Zaire, if I'm Zaire, uh, put, a, put a five in the chat if you agree with me. If I'm Zaire and they're talking about, hey, can you hook us up? Is there any way we can get in contact with uh, Pony Rich? I'm asking for a percentage. I know y'all giving 50% of the proceeds to black owned businesses, but you're going to have to give me 5% or at least a, you know saying a, a easy thousand dollars. I'm going to need some money off the top. If I'm hooking you up, risking my job, letting you guys know, I'm going to need some money. Y'all going to have to break your boy off with at least a hundred or something. Big dogs got to eat.
But he's like, listen, man, you go over to Miss Tina, you're gonna go on the other side, you're gonna be in the pickleball tournament, you get a new uniform, you had to put in that work. Now, before this, we know that him and Carlton were clashing, and that's when they went to the beach, and that's how we seen what Carlton was doing. You know what I mean? But this is how they end up getting introduced to Miss Tina. Now, Carlton really, I mean, we got Miss Tina, but we really don't care about what was going on with that. That's more of a, a wheel situation because Carlton did push him into the front, the forefront to deal with Miss Tina. But while they're working here, they got Will being the ball boy. So he's running back and forth. Whatever the ball hit net, he got to go scoop it up. Now, I don't know if you guys ever seen there was a uh, there's a video of a young kid that was running, ran into the wall, hit the wall, and just stood back up like nothing happened. That's all I could think about, Will running back and forth. But they got Carlton over here delivering drinks. And I'm like, oh, man. How many of you guys thought that Carlton was going to take one of them drinks? I thought Carlton was about to take one of those drinks. I said, damn, here we go, man. Once a junkie, always a junkie. So I'm like, damn, Carlton, don't don't flip out, man. Carlton losing his mind. He can barely see. He can barely stand up and walk. He told my will. Just give me a break, man. I got to go. I can taste that champagne right now. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This ain't right. I'm really getting the bubble guts right now. I'm getting the bubble guts right now. I thought Carlton was about to take that drink, be in the corner, and go and add it, man. I thought he was about to be going at it. But he's like, man, let me, let me just step away, man. Let me just step away. He hyperventilating. I thought Carlton was going to be in the corner. I need a bottle. That wasn't enough. That right there ain't do nothing. I need a whole bottle. Where that bottle is? You know, Carlton, you, hey, just like I said about uh, Wanda on Snowfall, boy, a junkie could sniff it out. I thought Carlton was about to take a shot because first they, they 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 played my boy Carlton and they put the, the champagne in front of him, but then they put the vodka shots in front of him, and that's when he was really about to lose it. I thought Carlton was about to. Go in the corner, take three or four shots, and go steal the bottle, hide out somewhere. I said, oh, man, it's over with for Carlton. Black says ain't about to be right, man. We ain't about to make it out here. But instead, Carlton mans up. And what does he do? He calls Spencer. He calls Spencer. And I was like, okay, this is a good move. You needed help. You called the person that helps you. Now, Spencer showed up. I don't know what the hell Spencer does all day, but Spencer had some free time. So Spencer pulled up with a fresh paint, uh, fresh paint on the nails, showed up, and he's giving Carlton advice. He also got a smoothie. He's talking about Carlton, you paying for this? Because I'm definitely getting me another one. Now, when like Torian was saying, what I what I what I liked about this was Spencer was giving real life information and this is what i'm always saying and i know that sometimes it comes off as mo doesn't have a heart you're too nonchalant but other people's problems most of the time are their problems you can't involve yourself in their problems or put their problems on to you as far as carlton and ashley a lot of kids think oh my parents are getting a divorce is because it's something i did it's never anything you did. It's just those two knuckleheads can't get their deal together. Now, Spencer's over here talking to him. And the same thing with Viv. Viv and Spencer, neither. We know that Viv was a little rough. Like the way she could have addressed uh, Amara about it. 
Amira, my bad, Amara. Amira about it, but she's just being blunt. And I like people that are blunt. It's like, Amira, you don't need to be in a relationship or dealing with that when you're coming from rehab. You already got a lot to deal with. And even Spencer, he wasn't saying that Amira is too much. He's just saying maybe it's too much at the time. Now, Carlton is listening to it. He's like, man, you might be right. But now, I don't think Spencer dislikes Amira. I think Spencer is like one of the genuine people on the show. He's really trying to help out. My only thing about Spencer is they sitting like right here. And Spencer's talking like, and you got to do what you got to do, Carlton, to make sure that you're all right. What your parents got going on. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Are you whispering to me? Speak up, man. I can't hear you. I, I was like, Spencer is too calm. Spencer's sitting there like, Carlton, you got a lot on your plate. Sometimes some people are just too much. Hey, are you whispering? We out. Use your outside voice. We outside, man. We outside. He over here whispering. Carlton could barely call him. What? What is that? Spencer's giving him the right information, but man, you got to speak up. I can't hear you. It's windy as a month out here. The wind out there. <laughs> he talking about, you got to do what you got to do, God. Nigga, I can't hear you. <laughs> and he talking about, you going to give me another smoothie? Nigga, what? No, I ain't getting you a smoothie, man. I didn't call you here for you to drink smoothies. I called you here to smooth out the situation. Wait, wait. I didn't call you here to smooth out the situation. I called you to here to get some, give me some advice. That's a, that's all I called you here for, for some advice. I ain't say, hey, I'm paying you, man. This shit's supposed to be free, man. You my guidance counselor, man. You my dog. That's my dog. You know what I mean? Spencer might. Nah, I, 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 no. Nah. nah, I don't think they doing that with Carlton. Nah, man. Spencer don't like Carlton, man. He knows Carlton is a heterosexual male. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't nah, they ain't doing that with Carlton's character, man. They ain't doing that with Carlton. It, it, when 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 I seen this, I was like, at first, I was like, oh, why is he here? But then I was like, okay, he's just here to give advice. They're not doing that with Carlton's character. Nah, they not. Carlton isn't that. I don't think that actor like that's. That's not what they're trying to do with Carlton. That, that's Ashley's story. That's not what they're doing with Carlton. That's just me talking. I don't, I don't, I don't think they're doing I don't. Carlton likes girls. Like they're not going to do that. But Spencer does help out, even though he was whispering. You gotta do this, Carlton. Yeah, what are you doing? You talking? What are you talking about? You, why are you whispering? I'm talking to you about I was about to relapse and drink a whole bottle of champagne and you whispering to me, brother. Spencer, I need help, man. Look, nigga, you whispering ain't going to work. Use the same voice you were using inside the meetings, man. It's me and you here, man. Talk to me. What do I need to do? I'm itching. I'm thirsty. I want that drink. I want that bottle. If there's one thing I can do is take a fifth to the head and you're over here whispering to me. Tank top screaming, Spencer, I don't fit you. Nice fade, though. Spencer over here talking about, yeah, it's too much for you. Sometimes you got to just back up and do your own thing. What your parents got going on ain't got nothing to do with you, Carlton. Carlton's like, well, I, I, okay, I'm looking at, okay, I see what you're saying, but I can't understand, like, everything you're saying is like you're whispering what you're saying. Like, this is how you sound. I can't hear you. Spencer said, well, you're going to hear this, nigga. You're going to give me another smoothie? Because I want another smoothie before I get out of here. But Spencer did give Carlton all the information that he needed. So I, I thought that was dope. Because I know a lot of people, especially in the black community, they don't want to see therapy. I mean, therapists. I had me a therapist. I did 12 weeks. Coolest time ever, you know what I'm saying? You, you get to, you know what I'm saying, get to talk about some stuff. Spencer was listening. Hey, hell no, nah, you wasn't listening to that whisper song when I was my dog right there. Talking about you listening to the whisper song. Hey, what are you doing? Let me whisper in your ear. They don't even go right. <laughs> I 
All right, so Spencer gave him that information. So after this, Carlton, he got to dip out. Now, he meets up with Amira later on after they, they fix the, uh, the parents' situation. Because the parents' uh, wedding, well, not wedding, but the anniversary, it was a little rocky. But we ended up getting it right. Now, Carlton's on FaceTime with Amira. Amira is a wild one. Can we all agree? Amira is a wild one. Like, for this to be, what is this? Like, TV 14? I know this ain't mature. For this to be like TV TV 14, man, they got Amira. She a wild, she, she a wild one. So she's talking to Carlton. This is early in the morning. Carlton's like, yeah, man, you know, times are tough. I'm just trying to find my way. She's like, yeah, I understand that. And I, you know, I'm here for you, Carlton. Like, I'm here for you too. It's just a lot to go through. And man, she's like, I wish I could help you. He's like, well, yeah, you could come and help your boy. So Carlton's head's all the way in the gutter. But man, he's a teenager, man. At this time, man, you got like, you got like three, four times in you. You know what I'm saying? You need like five, six times a week. You can't be on that Uncle Phil diet. That Uncle Phil diet is two months. Carlton, after we, he didn't got in that damn Hellcat. He talking about what could you do to me? She talking about put the phone down and close your eyes. Man, Carlton jumped in the bed so quick. I said, oh, Lord, here we go. If I'm Carlton, man, you ain't making me feel good from a distance. I'm getting up, hopping in my Lexus, taking my, well, before I hop in my Lexus, take my urinalysis test, give it to Pops. Here you go, Pops. I piss clean. I'm hopping in the whip. Can you meet me halfway? Right at the borderline is where I'm going away. For you, I'll be looking out. Nine day. Push my heart to the limit, and this is what I'll say. Oh, 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 I can't go any further than this. Oh, yeah, I'm telling the mirror to pull up. After what I got in that Hellcat, he was like Ace Ventura. You remember Ace Ventura when he brought the dog back, and he was holding on to the damn ceiling? <laughs> Hell no, I'm telling the mirror to pull up. What you on? <laughs> Give me 10, maybe 15 minutes. That's all a nigga need. Wipe a nigga nose. <laughs> what happened after? Oh, yeah, yeah. So then, uh, uh So then they end up going to the meet. And this is where everybody was talking about. Now, when they get here. He was already telling her this morning before he got distracted. Hey, man, it's a lot on my plate right now. You know what I mean? It's a lot on my plate right now. Sometimes some people are too much. You know, she was like, well, if I'm too much, I can fall back. Whatever a guy hears a, a woman talking about, she'll fall back. It's like, good. We want you to fall back. I might be giving away too much of the game. Whenever you hear a girl tell you, I'm just going to fall back and give you your space. In your head, you're like, thank you. Thank you. No one ever just wants somebody up in front of them the whole time, nagging and bothering them the whole time. So you're like, thank you. But at the same time, you want to be the one to say you want to give them distance so you can hit them up when you want to hit them up. You know what I mean? But he ends up taking her to one of the meetings, but it's back at Spencer's. Now, when they get here, out of nowhere, she snaps. Oh, no, Spencer. You said I'm too much. You don't want me going with Carlton? In front of everybody, I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. That's messed up, Spencer. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say about me, Spencer? Said, oh, I know about you. Don't make me say who you really are. You freaking addict. You've been in here three, four times. I know who you are. I heard your story. I heard your story. I heard how you was popping pills. You were smoking dope. You were drinking and driving i heard it all carlton like what 
There's a story behind the junkie that I've been dating. He pulls off like, what the fuck was that? And Spencer just looked at her. Spencer was mean mugging too. They said Spencer read her like an encyclopedia. I'm talking about the F encyclopedia because there's a lot of fascinating words that start with the letter F in the encyclopedia. But he read her up and down. He said, I do know who you are. I know everything you were here for. You fucking junkie. So Carlton's like, wait, wait. What was that? She said, oh, no. Fuck that. Did you hear what Spencer was saying? He was going off on me. He's like, well, Spencer's been in my corner. Spencer just showed up. We had smoothies together. Spencer was giving me help. He's in my corner. He got my back. She said, well, someone needs to have my back. He said, I got your back. So I need more than that, Carlton. I need more than that. It's a lot going on in my life, Colton. Can a nigga borrow a dollar, Colton? I need someone in my corner, Colton. Said, I'm in your corner. That's not enough, Colton. Your mama don't like me. Your daddy don't like me. Spencer don't like me. Lisa don't like me. Willie don't like me. Nobody likes a mirror. Colton's like, nah, my parents do love you. They do like you. Matter of fact, they want to have dinner with you. Really, Carlton? Dinner? Yeah, in two days. In two days, they want to have dinner with you. Oh, Carlton, let's get out of here. Let's shake this juke joint. Carlton looks back at Spencer, and Spencer's like, man, I tried to warn you. That girl's cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Spencer went on and held his beating. Carlton and Amir, they walked on out of here, and Carlton just put himself in a situation that he might not be equipped or prepared for because now he got to go home and ask his family who been going through some of the worst times. Hey, can we have a family dinner with the junkie you guys don't like? Can we bring the junkie over here? Make sure you lock up the valuables, but can we bring the junkie over here? We have no idea what Amir is. Uh, she's liquor, uh, popping pills, uh, smoking dope on her iPhone. We really don't know what Amir is. The only person that knows what Amir has been on is her and freaking Spencer. Spencer seemed like he knew everything. What up, Walter? Eric said, that's what I'm listening to on the way to go get some, man. Hey, I used to listen to Black Eyed Peas. I'm not ashamed of it. I listen to Black Eyed Peas. Growing up, I used to, I know NSYNC. I know Backstreet Song. We all do. People just act too cool to act like they don't know them songs. Shit, I be knowing them songs. Them songs be some jams. You know what I mean? All right. So from here, they end up having a dinner because he had to go ask Aunt Viv about it. And Aunt Viv was like, really? Right now, this really isn't the time for a dinner. Well, the reason is dinner. All right. How could this dinner have went any worse? It's, it's, I just want one word. I just want one word. How could this dinner have went worse than what it was? Because we know Amir didn't show up, but put one word in the chat of how this dinner could have been worse than what it was. Because they sitting here, hey, this polo right here, this is clean. What Carlton got, that's a clean polo, right? That's something I'd rock right there. That mug is clean. But they sitting here and they're waiting for Amir. Only one word, only one word would make this dinner worse than what it was. I'm Bill talking about, is she always late? Carlton's like, God damn it, she didn't stood me up. I didn't went out the way. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, keep my life clean. My mom calling her out. She's already the one that called the mirror out about the relationship. Well, let's go ahead and eat the food, man, before it gets cold. Damn. Damn. 
if a chick ever stood me up like this in front of the fam, I'd have to tell her, man, you can't come to the crib no more. Whatever we do, we just got to keep it in the car. Just me and you. That's it. That's all I can say. We got to just do it in the car, man. You can't come in the house no more. Parents don't want to see your face. The only way this dinner could have been worse, that one word is Ashley. If Ashley would have showed up to this dinner, I told you, Carlton, I'm the only one at the house. I'm the only one. <laughs> they said it. Ashley. I'm the only one at the house that been asking the serious questions about what did Carlton learn because he's dating the junkie. He's dating the junkie, guys. Carlton, he just, I don't know if y'all know, but Carlton almost relapsed at the, uh, the country club. They told me. Olivia's brother told me that Carlton was up there wilding out today. He didn't knocked over the glasses and shit. He had to call up Spencer. Ashley would have been laying all the dirt on the line. Like, damn, Ashley, shut up. Ashley would have made, I told you, I told you. Uncle Mo told me a long time ago. I remember when I was four years old. Uncle Mo told me, he said, Ashley, listen to me and listen to me carefully. You'll understand this more when you get older. Once a junkie, always a junkie. That's it. Ashley, Ashley knew she was sitting at the table. Like Carlton's home for rehab, but what did Carlton learn in rehab? Like, okay. You're dating a junkie, man. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm saying it. When I introduce my like, I if I introduce you to my family, I'm not scheduling like, hey, let's have a dinner date. And I bring a woman over. If I'm going to my family's house, I just pop up with a chick. You know what I mean? I'm not. Or if I'm there, I might leave and go get her and come back. But I'm never like, hey, here's a family dinner. Come to the family dinner. No. No woman is allowed to pop up. They, I got to physically bring you over to my parents' house. You can't drive over here. You can't park over here. I got to bring you over here. So when I want you to go, you can go. It ain't no hanging out. And no, I got to take her home. I drove. I got to take her home. We got we to gotta go. We got to go. Yeah, so meeting my parents ain't nothing. <laughs> my parents might get on this live when they get over here. My sister might get on here. That day, it ain't, it ain't nothing special. You're just meeting somebody else. You're just meeting another mo. That's it. It ain't no different than talking to me, y'all. It ain't no different than talking to me. But anyway, she don't show up. And then we find out. Uh, well, I ain't got the screenshots, but. We find out that the reason she was late is because she has a lot going on and she's been crying. And it's actually the anniversary of her sister passing. Now, there's been some rumors going around. I think Erica mentioned maybe she's the one that unalived her sister. Maybe it was drinking and driving. Maybe her sister overdosed, taking drugs with her. We aren't sure yet. We got four episodes to find out what happened to the sister. But. She's saying that's what was tough right now. And that's why she was crying and she showed up late. It was just a lot. Now, I understand that. But you don't forget the day that your sister passed. So when Carlton said we were having dinner, she should have said, oh, that date won't work because that's the anniversary of my sister passing. You know what I mean? Like, you don't forget. That's something you don't forget. And then you don't show up an hour, two hours late. Oh, I'm sorry. My sister passed. It's just a lot. You call him and let him know, like, so he know where you're at. And then she's talking about, we're going to share locations. Um. We aren't in a committed relationship. We just fucking around. I don't think I want your location. I always say this, fellas. When they start talking about, I want to give you a key to my apartment, never accept a key to the apartment. Never accept the location. Unless you guys are like together, together. But you don't want those responsibilities. You get the key to the apartment. 
Then they're gonna be feeling, hey, could you go do this at the apartment for me? I gotta go. No, do, 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 do. Mo ain't nobody's servant. I only had three women offer me like keys to their apartment that I was like messing with. And I told them all, no, I don't want the key to nothing. Hey, uh, such and such is coming over. Can you let no, 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 no. Cause I ain't trying to be there. Some nigga pop up thinking you there. You think he about to get some cutty. I got to open up the door. Got that Thule on me. And I got to, man, now I'm in a situation. You know what I mean? Forget that. But yeah, Mira might, she might be a little too crazy to be honest i don't know what she on but that's carlton's story right now <laughs> all right so what's the over under y'all carlton ain't even asked to be her yeah man so is let me ask y'all is is giving someone your location like the relationship is serious and I got to tell my landlord, I need a, it's been too long. They need to come over here, man. This annoys me. Every time I look, they just got the regular light bulb up there. I'm like, man, y'all need to put the damn thing over the top of it. Like this side. And that shit annoys me, man. Well, we got to change the light up. I'm like, man, y'all need to change that mug out, man. I've been here for the nine, ten months now. Come on, man. Anyway. Yeah, I don't I don't need your location, baby. I don't need your you might be out creeping. I, I don't want to know that you at some nigga house. I don't want to know. You know what I mean? I, I just don't want to know, man. You got my location. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I deleted that message. I I've been laying on the couch playing the PS5. I dozed off. What time is it? Three? Damn, you call like five times. Oh man, you know I don't be having my ring on, girl. That's on me. That's on my bad, baby. My bad. Shit, I ain't know, man. I ain't know you want me to pick you up. 